Is Fashion Nova potentially scamming its fans? I don't know, but you didn't hear it from me. Actually, you didn't want to talk about it. Hey guys, Wayne Blue here and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. So you read the title, you've seen the thumbnail, you know what this video is about, Fashion Nova. Um, yes, I did get some things from Fashion Nova to try on and kind of show you guys what I got. But I also encountered some problems along the way and I wasn't expecting to be making this video. But I feel like this has to get out there because I don't see a lot of people talking about this. I don't see a lot of people like you know bringing this up because this is actually a problem and Fashion Nova won't do something about it and they don't know what to say about it either so if you want to know more about why I'm saying that Fashion Nova is potentially scamming its fans then just keep watching but if you want to go straight to the try and haul and review just go to this timestamp okay so I've never shopped on Fashion Nova before I don't usually do online shopping for like clothes like the first time that I like I actually did it would be with the chick me stuff I believe but other than that I usually just go to like in stores or I go thrifting if I recall um usually if I do shop online I like to do like a little review thing and share with you guys like exactly what I got what I feel like you should know about the clothing and the company and etc um and I feel like a lot of you guys are familiar with that because you may be familiar with my Romwe review trial and haul that I did years ago um you don't have to watch that just don't watch that but yeah i don't usually shop online and then when usually i like to browse usually i like to browse and see like what some online shops have to offer and fashion nova always has like promising things and i hear a lot of good things about fashion nova but the thing is i don't hear a lot about the bad things about fashion nova and they should be brought up because oh my gosh if i knew this i probably wouldn't have shopped in the first place but now i know and i know what to avoid and i probably why not be shopping on fashion nova for the longest time so yeah that's how bad it was okay so during the black friday sale i believe it was like cyber monday as well they were having one of their big sales and like my friend messaged me about it and i was like okay you know what say less let's try it out i haven't shopped on fashion nova before but i really want to see what their clothes is all about so i put in an order for like a couple of things and then she also put in a couple of things and my mom and my sister also added things to the cart so we can get a lot more things but then kind of like at a cheaper price, I guess, because we wanted to like get the free standard shipping. Free standard shipping, okay? So I placed the order. I made sure it was free standard shipping. And then, so it didn't charge me for the duties fee thing, you know, like to have it transported to Canada and whatever, etc. cetera. It only, it, didn't, it, only, it only charged me for the clothes and the tax, I believe. And then that was it. And then standard free shipping was free because we got more than $75 of items. So... We placed the order. Well, I placed the order. It was like, what, 3 a.m. or something? The moment I placed the order, I checked the receipt again to see if everything was fine. I see I was charged $34 for duty street. And I was like, it wasn't there before. Why is it popping up once I paid for everything? So that was kind of strange. I didn't think too much about it, I guess, because, you know, they want to, like, avoid certain problems when delivering our items. So I was like, okay, okay. Because, like, I clicked the, like, the question mark. Like, cause like I clicked the question mark to see exactly what duty fees was like all about and explain it. I was like, okay, okay, that's cool. But I still wanted to make sure like, hey, is this normal? So the next day I contacted Fashion Nova customer service. Oh my goodness, Fashion Nova customer service is a whole other story. Oh my gosh, I could keep going on and on forever. But anyways, so I contacted uh, customer service. I was in line for like after 60 people, like 60 people or something. Okay, whatever. I told them, hey, why was I charged duty fee? And then they're like, oh, it was to avoid any like in-person payments once you do or once you will be getting your items. I was like, okay, okay. But why did they charge me after showing me my receipt? Because when I was paying, it wasn't there. And then once I paid, it was there. They're like, oh, you know, because you just want for you to avoid paying anything extra on the day to put it like it's supposed to be delivered um i have the receipts to all of this i have i screenshot everything because it was sounding kind of fishy mm. so i was like okay okay cool whatever i let it go and then i was just waiting for my tracking number to come in because you know i like to track all my packages to make sure i get what i want on time like they said no one steals it everyone's happy so i get the tracking number and then I look at it and I'm like, something doesn't seem right. I click on the tracking number, but the thing is the tracking number was for DHL Express. I chose standard shipping. Why am I getting DHL Express? 
So I guess maybe because they wanted to come faster, blah, 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 that's okay. And I just kind of left it alone for like a day or two. But then it arrived, the package arrived in Canada. And then DHL was like, okay, we're going to hold on to your package until you pay us the extra customer service fee or something, the custom fee. And I was like, what? And then I see the receipts. I'm supposed to pay $111 for them to deliver my package when I didn't even want express shipping in the first place. I was like, hold up, hold up hold up wait a second i asked for standard shipping because i didn't want to pay anything extra now you're telling me i have to pay 11 111 dollars to dhl or they're going to be holding my package hostage and then i was just looking at that i was looking at i was like this is unbelievable this is unbelievable the morning i saw that email i went straight back to customer service on fashion nova and i was like why 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 i asked for standard shipping and then you guys shipped it with express what gives and then this lady basically told me she was like oh so sorry about that here just pay for the the, the customs fee that they're asking you know dhl and then we will refund you and i was like okay are you gonna refund me in like fashion nova points or are you actually gonna refund me by like actual money and then they're like oh she was like oh we're going to pay you back with actual money don't worry like we're going to pay you back the way that you paid us blah 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 there she was like just make sure to send your receipt to customer service fashion nova and you'll be fine i was like okay so i did exactly that that was the first email i believe i sent to them but then i didn't get a response usually they respond like two to five days or something so then i sent another one and then i didn't get a response two to five days so i sent two emails take that in. i sent two two emails and i didn't get a response so i decided to contact fashion nova like the agent chat again and i was like okay um i haven't gotten a response what gives someone said that they're going to pay me back am i going to be getting my hundred dollars 111 dollars back and then the lady's like no i was like no she was like no because we cannot pay what is paid outside of fashion nova we can only pay you back the duty speed that you paid of the 34 dollars but we cannot you but, but we cannot pay you back the 111 dollars you paid to dhl because those are their custom fee and i was like that's ridiculous because i didn't even ask for express shipping in the first place so now i have to pay for express shipping that i never asked for and i'm just gonna get 34 dollars back $34 out of 111 that's not even half so I was upset I was like okay okay give me my money that's that's fine um they refunded me the duties fee and I was like okay this is this is cool um you know thinking back at this right now I'm mm, I wasn't I'm not happy and I'm still not happy so then I got the I got the $34 and I still wasn't satisfied because there's no way one of their agents lied to me saying that they're going to pay me back even though fashion nova can't pay me back and i was like okay so what gives so then i contacted fashion nova again the amount of times i contacted fashion nova was probably like a good 11 times no more than 20 though please keep that in mind so i contacted them again i was like okay so blah 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 this is what happened i explained so then i told the agent how could one of your agents lie to me saying that they'll be paying me that fashion nova will be paying back my 111 dollars even though the last one said that they are not actually responsible of paying me back that money and then they're making excuses oh blah 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 this this agent this agent oh my gosh i think this was agent number five or six i contacted them a lot because 111 dollars on top of everything i paid let me let me actually go back like i keep saying 111 dollars is a lot well first of all it is a lot and it's also a lot because let's hmm, this first purchase i made on fashion nova was up to 300 dollars and then I had to pay $111 plus for the express shipping that I never asked for. I was cheesed. So I told her all of this. I explained it to her. I hope you don't hear the water in the back. If you hear the water in the back, I'm so sorry. Okay, so then I just told, then I started explaining to the next agent everything that happened, everything the other agent said. And then this is when I started losing my mind. Like, I'm going to be showing them receipts right here. Um, I was basically just trying to understand what was happening. Now, the thing with Fashion Nova is they are, they cheat, like this agent was telling me, did you check our shipping and you know, delivery policies or rules? And I was like, yeah, here, yes, I did. Now, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm making videos on this. As a lot of you guys know, I live in Canada and I'm guessing a lot of you may as well be living in Canada. Um, 
this agent was telling me oh did you check our shipping and stuff policies i was like yes and i even sent her the link explaining how some of the things that she was saying or that they were allegedly saying did not make sense it did just not connect it did not connect at all so if i'm if we can look at the chart looking at fashion nova's like shipping methods and time frames as you can see standard shipping canada is usually 699 but if you do like the over 75 dollars it's free it's free standard shipping this lady was telling me that fashion nova doesn't have or some people don't have control over what shipping methods you know the people that ship the clothes at fashion nova do like they don't have control of how they ship it and when i heard that i was like this that makes no sense because if someone asks for standard shipping then they want standard shipping if someone wants express shipping then they want express shipping and then she was telling me this doesn't make any sense that oh canada is considered as an international shipping method so it was shipped out with dhl express or something and i was like that makes no sense because on your website if there is four asterisks you know four stars then it means that whatever you bought will be shipped with international dhl express but when you look at the canada shipping or the free shipping there's only three asterisks two asterisks but there's no four asterisks so there should not be dhl express shipping coming to me when i ask for standard shipping and she was just trying to make a whole explanation going like oh we don't control that it's not our fault we're so 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 sorry but you have to understand because you live in canada it's considered international shipping then why is there a section for inter like there's canada ship okay so there's canada shipping and then there's uk shipping and then there's international shipping okay um if canada was considered as international shipping then free canadian shipping should be with the free international shipping section but no there's three sections for that and or like there's three rows and canada is not considered with the international D dhl express nor does it have the four asterisks so i was trying because like i was coming in with the points with the facts and she was just brushing it off like i was crazy and i'm like no i'm not crazy because i just spent 111 dollars on something i did not even want like that like i wasn't in a rush to get these things like i'm not going anywhere we're in a pandemic where am i supposed to go with these clothes so i was not in a rush for these clothes but no fashion nova wanted to rush for me because they think that they know me so well and they decided to do international dhl express oh my gosh but yeah i was just done i was just done um i didn't know what to do so i just waited for the things to came in they came in well they came in and i was still talking to customer service because it was ridiculous the things are cute i'll be showing it later on in this video and then i decided to test out my theory i was like does fashion Nova do this for all of their like packages to canada and then i went on twitter and then i saw i feel like i could i think i could find a tweet if i find a tweet i'll put it right here someone said the same thing like they asked for standard shipping and then next thing you know they got a tracking for dhl express and now they have to pay like extra money on top of that that's ridiculous that's ridiculous fashion Nova should not be doing that if you ask for free standard shipping then they should be shipped out free standard shipping so then i decided to test the method i was really scared i decided to do another order because i was missing like a couple of things i know i know ugh but but i did exactly the same thing um i shipped it out with free standard again this time there was no duties fee i checked before paying it said zero dollars i checked after paying it still said zero dollars i was like okay interesting and then as i was like waiting for the tracking number to come in it came in with canada post and i was like okay let's see if they're still gonna charge me they didn't i got the package like a day or two ago i was not paid extra and i pay for standard shipping and i was like what is this so then i went back to customer service and this is when things started getting really really interesting so i contacted them and then they're like okay we'll check your email let me check um this for you the person was like let me check this for you i believe it was a he and then they came back to me and then they're like okay so sorry that took so long you sent over 50 you sent about 50 emails to us so it was hard to find the one with the receipt i was like fifth now this person was being petty with me because i know i did not send 50 emails to customer service at fashion nova and if i did that means you guys are doing a bad job from not responding to my email because i had to keep sending them over and over and over i was like 50 emails i was like okay i don't think i sent more than at least 50 emails i think like 20 the least 
but that but you know that's beside the point but then they're able to find a receipt and then they're seeing how it is strange that like one order that i did i asked for free shipping and then i had to pay dhl express but then the second order was actually free standard shipping so i guess he was confused as well um after talking with them for some time i did get my money Oh, not even I got most of my money back it was like $74 because they he realized that they already paid me $34 but then I guess because he realized how weird was this was um gave me like $74 that goes up to like about 90 something it's not $111 but it's better than nothing and at that point I was at least satisfied I was at least satisfied but there's still no concrete answer as to what happened he explained something too um i'll insert the picture because i don't remember what he said i could care less at this moment because it's ridiculous um fashion over really has to step up their game i don't know what they're doing but it's potentially scamming fans and fans don't even know because if you are asking for free standard shipping you should only be getting free standard shipping and then someone was like maybe they um charged you with dhl express because it was more than a hundred dollars listen my second order was also more than a hundred dollars but it was shipped out with free standard so there should be no reason there should be no reason that they're shipping it with express like that makes no sense that that makes no sense but yeah um so when you are shopping fashion over please 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 be careful if you do notice something is wrong don't be afraid to reach out to them but customer service just doesn't they just try to they just try to find a reasoning for everything like oh it's fine it's fine no it's not fine becky no it's not fine armad i i paid extra for no reason i paid extra for no reason and you're just gonna stand there and look at me like i'm wrong like i'm wrong like excuse you but anyways, if you're still here and if you're still watching, hello, we can get on to the review and talk more about like the quality of their clothing. Now, despite everything I had to go through with Fashion Nova, their clothes are nice. They're nice. And even though I might not be shopping in there for a while, I might eventually go back to get a little one-two thing for me and then kind of drop it for a couple more months because their things are actually really nice. And I now get why people like it so much, but their customer service, man, yeah. I heard, I saw a lot of like, <laughs> there's a whole section on Twitter where people, if you search a fashion of a customer service, it's like tweets, 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 because it's so bad. No, this, this video is not sponsored. Like as long as I'm not sponsored, I'm just going to keep coming out with the truths about these companies because someone's got to tell you guys and I guess that someone's going to be me. First things first, Fashion Nova does have a lot of nice things. I am going to be very honest. And so I actually have my friend MG as well demonstrating some of the clothes. So you will be getting like both of our inputs, insights on what we believe you must know about, you know, the clothes and I guess, yeah, whatever. Let's have a little try on review haul thing going now. So the high rise jeans are actually really, really nice. They fit me so nicely. I feel like Fashion Nova is really well known for like their jeans and their pants because this one definitely does hug me in all the right places. I really, really like it. It's nice, soft. It's tighter. Well, it is skinny jeans. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't usually wear skinny jeans, but I decided to get like at least a black pair of skinny jeans. But they're really nice. I feel like I might go one up next time if I do. These are size 9. So maybe a size... This is like a size 9 times 10. I guess next time I might go for a size 11. See how that feels. But that's not for a very long time. But yeah, they're very nice. I really like these. So just don't think too much about the slides. Because I don't want to set up the ring light right now. But I want to get through this video and have it out. Because today's Friday and I want this out Friday or at least Saturday morning. <laughs> Saturday morning. But yeah, okay, anyways. So the next thing I want to talk about is the Higher Love Flare Pants Navy Combo. And oh my goodness, these pants are my I love these. Out of everything I got, these are my absolute favorite. Like I love them. They're so soft, they're so stretchy. They make my butt look great, amazing, even. And it's just it hugs everywhere so nicely. Like fashion lender pants, I must be honest. It's 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 nice it's nice i i have to admit it it's it's nice like just look at them like the flare the material that they use oh my gosh yes 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 and when shopping i did check the material whenever like i like get something to make sure it's it makes sense to like what the image is showing like if it says cotton and it's like a little soft shirt i'm like okay i'll get you so that's exactly what i did with these pants and i'm so happy i got them i got them in a size m 
I really thought it was an L, but in fashion way, I guess I'm a size M. So it makes more sense because like they're like women and I'm still like a young adult, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, next on my list of things that I got is the She is the Boss crop hoodie and short set. First, I did get these in a large, but then I realized that they were hugging me a little too tight. So then I bought another... Um, so then I bought another one in extra large and I gave the large to my sister and it's Amazing the crop isn't too cropped like as you can see it's just like Right by the waist and the shorts aren't too tight as well. They're very very breathable, which I really like and It comes with the gray and the black, but I feel like I have enough black clothes even though you can never have enough black clothes But I decided to get a little gray to add some more color to my closet and I really I really like this. These with a pair of white sneakers, I believe. Marvelous. So those are the first things I got, and then this is like the second package where I actually got my free standard shipping, but whatever. Okay, so we're gonna start off with what I really, really like out of like everything here is the queen sweatshirt dress. I got this in an extra large. Oh my goodness, I can definitely wear this like during cold weather because it's so warm, it's so heavy, it's so soft. Like this, this is amazing. Like I love this so much. And what I really wanted to wear this was with a pair of high, like knee high boots that I got the first order, which also look just as amazing. So as you can see here, I'm really, really, really like rocking this look. I love the extra large hoodie i love the boots i love the whole combination it's so soft it's so big um it is oversized but because i like things to be a lot more bigger than they're sh like supposed to be instead of getting a large i got an extra large and i'm so happy because it's not too short it's just like the right length and it's just marvelous marvelous the next thing i got which i feel like i should have gotten a large but I got an extra large because again, I love oversized clothes, but this one was kind of too oversized is the cargo pants. So these are the Amelia oversized cargo pants in color olive. And as you can see, yes, they're big. Um, the model, I guess, was wearing something suitable to her size and I went with something a little bit bigger. I definitely could have gotten a large, but I decided to get an extra large. But then I started going like, you know, this can actually work by putting like a belt and then like a crop top or like a under top or like, you know, tank top, whatever. It's cute. And then I could also roll up the bottom if I want. And the reason why I did get extra large is because I want this one for a very long time. So as I probably grow older, I might, you know, gain a little bit more weight, get a little bit more taller. I don't know. Who knows? But I still want these pants to fit me. And these will be with me forever. Now, something else that I did get were these black leggings. These leggings are actually really nice. They're they're actually really nice. Um I don't know what else to say. It's soft. It's a one size only. There's like one size only and then there's like a plus, I believe. I want the one size only and it works. It works. It, you know, it makes the butt look nice. I'm currently wearing them right now. I didn't even realize I was wearing them right now because they're so breathable. They're so comfortable. Like, I can't even show it on camera, but yeah, they're really nice. I really like it. It's, you can definitely do yoga in this or something. Like, it, I don't feel like it's gonna rip. It's like, very very sturdy material so and the last pair of items that i did get at fashion over that i don't think i want to wear on camera were these um bralettes yes these bralettes they're very nice i tried them on they fit i do not want to put them on camera so you could imagine me wearing it i i don't know it's it's up to you but it comes in a pack of three a set of three this is the this is the nude set i would say that's what they called it size small medium and they were like 12.43 us dollars so you can convert that to canadian probably 15 dollars or so but yeah they're very nice they definitely fit i'm a size 34 c so if you want to just use that as a reference and i got this in size small medium it was like small medium and then i guess it was like large and plus i believe so yeah i'm a 34 c i got small medium and they fit nicely so those are basically the things i got and then the rest are like my sisters my moms and mj's which i'll have her talk about right now this is a black crop top so it's actually pretty opaque and it looks nice on all sides and it feels nice too to be honest it doesn't feel like really cheap material but the thing is um i should have gotten a, a larger size like a small because this is an extra small and my arms are kind of big so it kind of looks like sometimes it looks a little bit like it's 
popping out <laughs> of my of the sleeves so in britney's videos i think she um she rates them so i would rate it like a uh, 7 out of 10 or 8 out of 10 just because i got the wrong size i feel like if i got a better size it would be higher but all in all it does the job it's a black crop top this is the white crop top so this one is actually in small as compared to the other one which is an extra small as you can tell i feel a lot more room in my arm area but that's just because of me that's just my body um also uh it is a little bit see-through like like i'm wearing a dark bra but it's a little bit see-through and like this is a temporary tattoo but you can kind of see the temporary tattoo peeking through i don't know if you can it is a little bit thin i don't mind it i think it's you know Again, it's like the same quality as a black one, but since it's white, it's it's like obviously more see-through. So I think it's like okay quality. Like this is the, it feels nice. Yeah. So this one I would rate oh, also a seven or eight out of ten, just because this one's see-through, but it like it fits perfectly. Again, this is the size though. This it's small. So this is an extra small, and the models that I saw them, they would wear it like tied up like this but i honestly don't really like it that, that way because i don't know i feel like it just takes away from the exposed skin that you're supposed to have so i would and and it's just weird like the, the little dangling things so i would honestly like take them out and just tuck them in or something um but all in all it's a great great fit it's basically the same material as the as the crop tops um yeah I think I would rate this out of 10. I would rate it on, I don't know, a seven. <laughs> I don't know, a seven. I feel like I wouldn't wear it all the time. I'd only wear it when I'm feeling like a baddie baddie. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. And also the dragon seems a little redundant. Whatever, okay, whatever. This is the bodysuit turtleneck. <laughs> And I'm actually really disappointed in it. I thought for some reason, I thought it would be more um, opaque, but it's not, it's not opaque. <laughs> it's not opaque. And the weirdest thing is like this part is obviously like just one layer of cloth. This actually though feels a lot softer than all of the other clothes. Like it's really soft. But this is one layer and this is like multiple layers. So it's, you can see it's dark. It's like more opaque here, which just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Cause what the hell? Like, why is it? Why is it like, I don't know. I don't know. This is a bodysuit. So easy to tuck in and stuff. So it'd be really easy. I think maybe if you had a nice bralette um, to go with this, it would look nice. Let me just try that actually. So this is what it looks like with a bralette on. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Look at the back. You can like see everything. Um, okay, I'm gonna try one more thing. So this is what it looks like with the dress on. I think it's really cute actually. Um, so, and I think it makes sense because it is see-through. And so I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 because it's see-through and also the different opaqueness just doesn't make sense. But yeah, six out of 10. Oh, also, also shout out to my boyfriend, Calvin, because he watches these videos, so hi. And yeah, I think that's it for my part. Okay. Well, how does, how does Brittany end it? Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Is it like that? And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.